Hi, I'm Nick Bonner for treestuff.com, and today is an exciting day because you are watching this video to learn how to fit your new tree climbing harness. All right, so what I want to do is just talk about some of the basics in a tree climbing harness. Today I'm going to use my harness. This is a Petzl Sequoia SRT. I really like this. Um, but what we talk about is going to apply to any harness that you might buy. So uh, first thing when you do, uh, anytime you put a harness on, just do a quick inspection of it. Just check to make sure that there is no tears, you know, that you don't see any fraying, that none of the hardware is cracked or broken or anything like that. I do see some fraying here. Uh, I think that's okay. So I'm going to determine that, that I'm all right with that. But I did notice it and I think that's the key to, to any inspection. So my harness looks good. I'm going to go ahead and put it on. I'm excited. This is, this is brand new, right? Uh, you get something, you know, first thing you want to do is, is uh, just try it right out, right? Um, what you shouldn't do when you get a new harness is go climbing in it right away. Uh, you should take the time to make sure that your harness fits you comfortably and safely uh, when you get it. So uh, I was able to step through. Obviously, the harness is not tangled. It's not twisted. Everything is laying nice and fair. So I like that. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that it doesn't fall off my waist and I'm going to tighten the belt up. On this specific harness, you see that I have this uh, symmetrical tightening. Um, as a skinny guy, I like to make sure that my harness is nice and centered on me and some of the asymmetrical wraps uh, aren't as good of a choice for that. So I really like this option uh, on this harness. But here I got it. It's tight enough that it's not going to fall off my hips, but it's it's not like, you know, tight enough that I feel like it's squeezing me. I could probably even loosen it up a little bit, but you want it to feel comfortable. You do want to consider that if there's some weight on it, uh, that it might get start to get pulled down on your hips like that. Waist belt is on. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and connect my leg loops and get those on. And I, I guess that's it. I'm ready to go climbing now, I think, right? I'm not. I think we all know that. But let's take a look and see. I just went ahead and put this uh, really unadjusted harness on. And you can see that it's, it's not really a, a great fit for me uh, yet. So um, let's take a second. We'll unclip from the rope. And let's look at what's going on here. So first thing... Uh, you're going to notice my leg loops are super duper loose um, and they're they're pretty ill fitting so uh, let's go ahead i'm going to hold these up here and just tighten them up a little bit they don't need to be super tight you're not trying to cut off the circulation of your leg um, but you do want to have it you know tight enough that it's going to stay stay up for you the next thing you'll notice is that this rear riser adjustment is is not doing anything so what i'm going to want to do is tighten that up again i don't want it to be so tight that it's you know pulling this all the way up there is some bungee here but i might loosen this just a little bit more and i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side so tighten this leg loop up again doesn't need to be so tight that it's uncomfortable and then adjust this rear riser to just a little bit less than kind of the minimum. And uh, for me, again, I'm a very skinny guy. I have about a 30, 32 inch waist. So um, even with this size one harness, you'll notice that I'm at, I'm gonna be at kind of the minimum of a lot of these adjustments. Uh, that might not be the same for you or for someone that you're helping fit their saddle. So uh, definitely feel free to use the, the whole range of adjustments. So, uh, we've gone ahead and we've done the leg loops. Let's see if that makes a difference in our kind of seated position here. So we'll clip back in, weight our rope. And so definitely you see right away, I am more supported by my legs, but I'm, I'm falling backwards. And unless I'm actively holding myself up here, uh, you can see that there's not a lot of support. So the next key thing that you're going to look at when you go to size and fit your harness is this Bermuda triangle area here. Um, I call this the uh, front riser adjustment or the, the, the draw. Um, but essentially what you're usually doing here is as you tighten this, you are changing the height 
and the distance of this middle D-ring to the lower D-ring. And as you do that, we'll take this, maybe we can show a good comparison. So I'll do this one all the way tight and we'll leave this one kind of all the way out at the, the far end of its adjustment. We'll see how that looks. So yeah, you can see it's, it's kicking me this way, right, automatically, but I have so much more back support on this side than I do on this side. And uh, that's why I wanna fall this way kind of automatically. So as we look to this side and we tighten this up, and we'll go all the way to that shortest minimum again, like we did over here, so we've gone from one end of the extreme to another. And now you can see it's, it wants me to sit. It wants me to sit like straight up. It's actually like kicking my back totally vertically now. And this is, uh, I think we've gone too far. I do want to be a little bit angled backwards so that I'm not like, you know, kind of eating my equipment. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll loosen that up. I find that for me on any harness, I want this distance to be, you know, about the, the length of my thumb. Um, you know, or maybe like a playing card, but uh, you can kind of adjust that to your preference. But now I feel very comfortable. I don't feel as if my abs and chest are uh, kind of holding up my body. Um, this is a really comfortable seated position for me. I feel like my leg loops, I'm able to push them forward if I am gonna be in suspension for a longer time uh, and it's not too restricted by the, the rear draw here. So uh, definitely whenever you get a new harness, you know, whether it's this harness or a different harness, take the time, look through your user manual, uh, understand what adjustments are available to you and experiment with them, take them from the one end to the other and see how it impacts your comfort or your seated position uh, and find the spot where you should be able to rest and sit uh, without exerting any effort and you should feel very comfortable. So I'm excited for you. You've got a new harness. I hope this video was helpful and you're able to get it fitted better. Uh, I'm really happy with the way that my Petzl Sequoia fits here uh, and I'm sure that you're going to be able to get your harness to fit you just as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.